Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has done it again. He has shocked the entire car industry with his newest innovation, a hydrogen car. This new car is not only eco-friendly, but it also is much cheaper to operate than traditional gasoline cars. Hydrogen cars have been around for a few years, but they have never been widely adopted because they are so expensive to build. Musk has changed that with his new car, which is not only affordable but also stylish and very efficient. The car industry is abuzz with this new development, and many are wondering if this is the beginning of the end for gasoline cars. Only time will tell, but for now, it is clear that Musk is leading. Hey intellectuals, welcome back to the future space. Today's video is going to be really exciting, because today we are discussing hydrogen cars on which Elon is currently working. So without further ado, let's begin. Tesla's founder and CEO have just unveiled a new hydrogen car that has stunned the entire automobile industry. What makes hydrogen cars unique is that they outperform current Tesla electric vehicles. In this video, we'll look at Elon Musk's hydrogen car, which stunned the automotive industry. Let us begin with some definitions. Hydrogen is the most basic and abundant element on Earth and in the universe. It consists of only one proton and one electron. Hydrogen is an energy carrier, not a source of energy, and it has a surprising amount of energy. For a long time, almost everyone in the automotive industry has been working hard to transition away from fossil fuels and toward cleaner, more environment-friendly energy sources such as solar batteries and hydrogen. Tesla CEO has mocked the idea of using hydrogen fuel cells rather than electric batteries to power next-generation green vehicles for years, and his fuel cells are fuel cells. Many hydrogen car enthusiasts were turned off by the mocking, but on April 1st, Elon Musk shocked Twitter followers by announcing that after many years of skepticism, he will switch Tesla from batteries to hydrogen power by 2024, and why shouldn't he? At the moment, governments and organizations are making significant strides toward fully embracing hydrogen as an alternative fuel, with electricity from the grid and renewable sources such as biomass, geothermal, solar and wind being added to the list of energy resources capable of producing green energy. And because hydrogen, whether in liquid or solid form, bears enormous energy, researchers are planning to use it as a form of electricity storage other than batteries. Elon Musk has stated that the first vehicle to use hydrogen fuel will be appropriately named the Model H. But before we look at this future's rare automobile, you should get a sense of the world's first hydrogen fuel car. Tesla is almost certainly not the first. It was the first used in the early 1800s. It was the first internal combustion engine or ICE vehicle powered by hydrogen, and it was more of a torture device than a reliable machine to take you places. In 1807, the Swiss inventor Francis Isaac de Rivas created ice by using a balloon filled with hydrogen and oxygen. Technically, it could be called the first hydrogen car, but the first ultra-modern hydrogen-powered vehicle would not appear for another 200 years, and the machine would be noticeably different instead of using a combustion engine. Tesla employees can use this method, and the first hydrogen-powered vehicle is expected to arrive shortly. The Model H, like all electric vehicles, is powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Fuel cell electric vehicles, or FCEVs, use electricity to power an electric motor, but unlike other electric vehicles, they do not use a battery to do so. Instead, they get their power from a hydrogen-powered fuel cell. There are two electrodes in a fuel cell, a negatively charged anode and a positively charged cathode. The anode receives hydrogen, while the cathode receives air. This extremely simple process essentially sums up how the Tesla Model H2 and O will operate. Let's take a closer look at Tesla's Model H, the company's first hydrogen-powered vehicle. Its design is stunning, and its two classic color schemes are stunning. The model stands out because it is based on race. The car has numerous vents, wings, and openings that convey power and aggression. It also has unique video cameras that replace the standard side mirrors when backing up. The images are displayed on two screens beside the steering wheel, so the driver does not have to turn his head left or right. Furthermore, Model H is propelled by six electric motors. There are two for the front wheels and four for the rear wheels. The graphene batteries are placed deeper beneath the floor to improve the car's weight balance. The main feature is a Hindenburg mode, based on SpaceX technology. This uses onboard hydrogen to provide a rocket-powered flaming speed boost, allowing for a speed increase of up to 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds. However, the burst reduces the range, which should be 451 miles in a more economic driving style. The model has a full-length floor diffuser that channels the air on the car's floor while creative massive downforce, which is essential for any automobile to survive top speed. The front vents have a set of flaps hidden inside that allow the air to flow in different directions. 
the Bosch ESP system, which has been specifically calibrated for its profile, as well as an anti-lock braking system and an engine control unit, the carbon fiber cockpit is mounted in the center for better weight distribution and has a Gorilla glass windshield. The pillars that support the car's top are designed for high-speed efficiency. They're installed on the sides of the cockpit to provide the driver with a clear view of the road ahead through the windshield. Two aluminum subframes are neatly laid out at the back to blend with the rear glass screen. The Model H will be a five-seater aimed at occupant comfort on long journeys, but with a seven-seat option. Would you imagine drinking the contents of a car exhaust pipe? The fuel cells produce crystal clear water, which can be piped into the vehicle to provide passengers with refreshing drinks. Tesla's next FC EVs will be appropriately dubbed Model 2. It is expected to appear in 2025. It will, like its model year counterpart, run on hydrogen with an expected 400-mile range in a compact hatchback form. The car's design is said to be well calculated to reduce the cost of hydrogen cars. They are currently more expensive to purchase than EVs and more expensive to fuel than internal combustion engines. Finally, in order to permanently establish hydrogen fuel in the automobile industry, the year 2027 will usher in the most daring member of the new Tesla hydrogen range. The Oddster is another name for this model. The O model will include an improved Hindenburg mode capable of reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in 0.2 seconds. This is an unusual speed for any automobile and you should prepare for it at least 30 minutes before activating this mode. Occupants will be required to take a custom drug designed to counteract G-force and thus prevent aneurysms. They will be strapped into specially designed gel-based crash seats as well. It is much easier said than done. Aside from all of the amazing features in Tesla's hydrogen car plans, there are some real challenges to overcome in its adoption. To begin, a significant initial investment is required. Hydrogen fuel cells require investment to progress to the point where they can be considered a truly viable energy source. This will necessitate more than one effort from Tesla or Elon Musk. The political will to invest time and resources in the advancement and maturation of these technologies. Many users of fuel cell electric vehicles have requested more hydrogen stations. Surprisingly, the state of California in the US has the most hydrogen fuel stations in the world. This is because fossil fuels have been used for decades, and thus the infrastructure for this power source already exists. Musk will have to pay for more refueling infrastructure if he wants hydrogen fuel cell technology to be widely used. Another significant disadvantage is that hydrogen has a technical storage challenge. How to store the amount of hydrogen required for a conventional driving range of about 300 miles within the vehicle's constraints of weight, volume, efficiency, safety, and cost has been the source of Musk's previous dissatisfaction with hydrogen use. According to Tesla's CEO, the amount of space required to store hydrogen fuel in vehicles, whether liquid or gaseous, is enormous. As a result, materials and components that enable compact, lightweight hydrogen storage systems, while enabling a mile range of more than 300 miles in all light-duty vehicle platforms, are required. Finally, despite technical difficulties, applicable codes and standards for hydrogen storage systems and interface technologies to facilitate implementation, commercialization, safety, and public acceptance have yet to be established. Several methods, particularly in hydrogen extraction, are currently being investigated by researchers all over the world. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.